In the spring, I'll pout of how it isn't always spring, that there would not be springs without the chill the winters bring. We huddle here amid the snow and glaze and wind and dark. We've lived here ever since we first had learned to strike a spark. We're sloughing off our skins with anxious bustling in the cave. And we won't know till springtime's bliss the joy that suffering gave. Growing numb, shivering, stomped, and even frozen into gray. No food, thirsting, tortured by the blasts of wind and needles. What honey sweetness they will add to springtime's warming ray. How bright the glint off prismatic chitin when awakening the beetles. How can we complain? Is not the globe a turning thing? Should we just go from spring to spring? Our lives are circles, cycles, segments, shadows, sun and moon. Lives ending only after procreating. Eternal seasons, rhythms of global tilt. In February, in the southern hemisphere, it's like our weather in August. And tidal swirls, rotations, revolvements, orbits of celestial bodies, including Uranus. And roller coasters, the big drop and laughing, walking away. And the winter came, and here it is. But spring will come after. There's a note here from Wikipedia. February is the second month of the year in the Julian and Gregorian calendars. It is the shortest month and the only month with fewer than 30 days. The month has 28 days in common years or 29 days in leap years. February is the third month of meteorological winter in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, February is the seasonal equivalent of August in the Northern Hemisphere, which is the third month of summer in meteorological reckoning. February starts on the same day of the week as March and November in common years, and on the same day of the week as August in leap years. February ends on the same day of the week as October every year and on the same day of the week as January in common years only. In leap years, it is the only month that ends on the same weekday it begins.